Hey guys, it's General Heed here, and welcome back to another revisit. Uh, in this case, we are going to be doing an ODST, Halo 3 ODST revisit. And this will be on the Xbox 360 version of ODST. So, in our older video of this uh, little glitch or easter egg, um, probably a glitch, but we had a very complicated method, sort of. And we now have a much easier method, so we're going to show you that easier method in this revisit. So all you got to do is on your main menu, you just want to um, open up Firefight. And it doesn't matter what mission or any difficulty, you just open it up and then give it a few seconds and then you can um, back out or stay in the Firefight menu. But don't go to any other menus. After the Firefight menu, just back out to your dashboard. And once you uh, hit your dashboard, all you gotta do is simply start up ODST again. Now, sometimes, I don't know why, but sometimes you gotta like eject your disk and put it back in. Otherwise it doesn't work. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm not fast enough at the next step. But once you start it up, whether you eject a disk or not, just make sure you uh, rapidly tap A as the uh, game is loading. So at this point, just really quickly tap A, keep tapping it. Even if the uh, menu shows it to ask you for your hard drive, just keep tapping A really quickly. And if you're fast enough, you will get into your firefight lobby right away because it was the last thing you selected. And because of that, you end up with this firefight mission. There's no name to the mission. However, you can set skulls and you can set the difficulty, but I actually won't do anything. So, you can now start it up. So, about this firefight mission, it's it's not exactly like a mission per se. It's really it's kind of like a theater mode thing. Once you spawn in, all you can do is just fly around in a uh, free camera. And you can pretty much explore the entire um, station up here. Where you uh, and a rookie and the squad are first talking in their first cutscene on a mission prepare to drop in campaign. And then you can even fly out of the station. Take a look at what it looks like from the outside. Well, at least what part of it looks like from the outside. And you can see Earth below, and if you want, you can even fly on down in free camera mode, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom. Now you can't actually fly into the city below, but you can fly pretty low below the clouds. And there's a, it's a pretty big area to explore actually, pretty big map still. But other than that, you can't actually um, do anything else. Like it's not actually an actual mission and you can't spawn in. So it's really just a kind of theater mode exploration mission. Only this time you don't need pan cam or anything to explore. So in our original video, you know, we said like you couldn't do it on Xbox Live or you need like a local account and stuff and a bunch of other complicated stuff. Well, fortunately, this new method lets you um, do it on Xbox Live. And if you do it on Xbox Live, you can't have your friends join you, but you can still do it online and uh, your friends can see that you are actually playing like an unknown firefight mission, which is actually kind of interesting because this mission kind of, I don't know, like it registers in a game as like an actual mission. So I don't know if this is like an easter egg that lets you explore around or if it's like a glitch, but I just find it pretty interesting and yeah, I hope you guys find this interesting as well. So as you can see, we are at the bottom of the cloud layer and there's nothing loaded below. We can't in fact hit the loading point to load the, uh, the uh, city of New Mombasa below. So unfortunately, this is pretty much as far as you go. If you do try to keep flying lower, your screen's just gonna turn all white and you can't see anything. 
And even if you keep trying to fly lower, you won't load anything. At least I'm pretty sure you won't. I, Because I can't really tell if you're flying lower or not. So at this point, it's probably better just to fly up and try to explore other areas. But, you know, this is pretty cool because um, in Halo 3, on some maps and missions, you actually can fly into space. Well, in theater mode. On the Halo 3 beta and on um, Halo Online, some of the maps like Valhalla, you used to be able to actually take a Banshee and fly all the way into space. And that's like the cool thing about the Halo 3 engine is that like the skybox is actually huge. And there are like layers that go into space. Just like on this mission. So it's pretty cool. You can even see like the cloud layers and everything. But yeah, so that's basically all there is to this. And for the rest of the video, we're just going to explore around a little bit. And in like a little homage to the original video, we're going to play you one of our favorite soundtracks from ODST. So before we get to that, if you guys enjoyed this, remember to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.